Hey guys, Mike here from Moto Mule. Those of you that have been following the channel for a little while might remember this toddler bed go-kart project we started late last summer. Hey Lyle. What? I'm gonna steal that bed and turn it into a go-kart. Cool. Right now. One minute? You're in it? Yeah. So I can't steal the bed while you're in it? No. Woo! The original plan for this build was to use the engine and suspension from a sport quad. Well, the uh, design of this project has been tweaked just a little. That's right, a Suzuki Hayabusa street bike engine. 1300 cc's of raw power. I'm gonna blame this bad idea on huffing Rust-Oleum paint. I mean, you'd have to have some kind of excuse for doing something this dumb, right? Sticking a Hayabusa in a uh, toddler bed? Well, like I said, I think my excuse is huffing paint fumes in the form of uh, painting the mini Gravedigger chassis. Let's see if I can back up enough to get that thing in the screen. If you haven't seen this build, go check out the uh, last video of it. My six-year-old son running over a Power Wheels Jeep with this bad boy. I'll put a link in the description below for that video. So anyway, back to this nonsense. Obviously, the inspiration for this bad idea is grind hard plumbing and rather be welding. I mean, I built the uh, four wheel drive mini grave digger with a tame 454 cc engine out of a utility quad. It's fun, but it's not gonna win any land speed records. Chris had to go and build his Grave Ninja with a 650cc street bike engine. And then there's Grindhard Plumbing putting a 990cc KTM into a Power Wheels Jeep. So if I'm going to keep up with the Joneses, I think Hayabusa is the only thing that makes sense. This is just a very rough mock-up of the plan we've got for this thing. So uh, you'll see that the engine is turned in there sideways. And this is so the uh, counter shaft is pointed back. So the plan is, is to just run a uh, drive line from the counter shaft of the motorcycle to a, an automotive style rear end. And I'll uh, take this apart and kind of lay out the components to give you a better idea of what I have in mind. This is the rear differential out of a Ford Explorer, one of the more modern ones that had independent rear suspension. So it's got a, a big, beefy 8.8 .8 inch ring and pinion in it. It's extremely tough. I mean, it'll have no problem handling the power out of this Hayabusa engine. Um, it's very common, so you can get all kinds of different gear ratios for it, lockers, all that kind of stuff. And uh, what I have it outfitted with are Porsche 930 CV stub axles. So I can put Porsche CVs and axles out of this now. And then I've put inboard brakes and I just stole these off a Honda motorcycle. I'll explain how I got this thing to this state very shortly. I just wanted to kind of give a general overview of what the plan is for this thing. When this engine was in the motorcycle, this was forward. The sprocket spun this direction. So if we keep that same spin and spin this drive line, we get forward motion out of this rear differential. So that's perfect. The only missing link is how do you get reverse? I got a solution for that. This little guy is a forward reverse gearbox that used to be sold by a company called Roadster Cycle. I'm not sure if they still sell these or not. It's a very heavy duty unit rated for 500 horsepower. So it'll be fine behind this motorcycle engine. The cool thing is I'll just have a drive line coming out of the engine to this unit, and then a drive line from here back. And then you can just switch directions with this lever here. So we'll have 
six gears forward and six gears reverse. This forward reverse gearbox was removed from a project I built a few years ago, a buggy affectionately named Tubby. Tubby was fast, but the suspension left much to be desired. It was a very fun project that I learned a lot from. I built Tubby back when my mini Gravedigger pilot looked more like this. The engine from Tubby now lives in the golf cart project, yet another build that needs to be finished. The rear axle from Tubby now lives in the mini Gravedigger. And the forward reverse gearbox will live on in this project. I'm feeling a little like a master recycler right about now. I purchased the Ford Explorer differential from a local wrecking yard. These are quite common and not very expensive. I cleaned up the housing and got a set of 31 spline axle adapters from a company called Z Car Depot. These adapters slide into the splines on the Ford differential and create a mounting surface for Porsche 930 CVs. I want to run inboard brakes on this project so that I can use smaller diameter wheels without worrying how I'm going to stuff brake rotors inside them. I have an old Honda street bike with a blown engine, so it's going to donate its dual front discs to this project. I ran into an issue with adding inboard brakes. The rearward mounting flanges for this differential stick out beyond the outside surface on the CV flanges. This would make it impossible to mount the rotors inboard. Turns out that the mounting flanges are cast as part of the rear cover, so I decided to make a new cover out of steel that has more mounting points and keeps them inside the CV flanges. With this new gear cover, I was able to mount the brakes inboard. I made some adapter plates to bolt the rotors to the back side of the CV flanges. And that is how I put together this compact, high strength, IRS differential unit with inboard brakes. As I mentioned in the shop tour video, I'm going to do my best this year to finish up a lot of these projects that I've started. So uh, here's the uh, first step at that New Year's resolution. We're going to get some work done on this uh, toddler bed go-kart, now dubbed the uh, Busa baby bed. <laughs> I want to take an opportunity to give a shout out to a brand new YouTube channel that I think is pretty cool. It's two buddies that are working on crazy power sport items similar to myself and grind hard plumbing and rather be welding and all of us. The name of the channel is Cracked Housing Fab. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check out their current build. They're putting a uh, Yamaha YC450 engine in an old lawn tractor and they're calling it the uh, not so simplicity. <laughs> Go check it out. As I mentioned before, go check out the mini Gravedigger build videos that I have. Especially the last one where my six-year-old son runs over a pink Barbie Jeep with the mini gravedigger. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please press that like button. If you'd like to see more of this build and all the other crazy builds I've got going on, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Also click that notification bell so you're first to know when a new video comes out. Please feel free to share any of my videos on your own social media. I strongly encourage it. The more people that see this stuff, the closer I could get to doing this full time. And believe me, I would enjoy building cool stuff and getting paid for it on a full time basis. Well, I'm going to end this video here. Have yourself an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Okay boys, where can people find us on Facebook and Instagram? Load on me Look out!